Hello, my art loving friends. In the video where I labeled it how to art in a hurry, I got some interesting comments about people being surprised that I don't just always have an art to go kit that I can grab at any moment's notice. And I have some good excuses for why I don't. We'll get into that in a minute. But in this video, I thought maybe I should make one that's always packed. We'll see how this works, but we're gonna try that today. But I'm gonna give you my excuses first. All right, so this is the bag I packed for that last trip. Plus I had this separate and this awesome book separate, which won't fit in a little travel to go bag. It's too big, it's too big. For the record, I could just grab this as long as I remembered to add the pencil back in. Cause I had a pencil stuck right here and I took it out cause I used that pencil everywhere. So if I grabbed a different pencil, stuck that in there, I could take this easily. So this could be a to-go kit. It has a liner, a sketchbook, another sketchbook, a watercolor sketchbook. It has a water brush. It has watercolors. It would have a pencil and it has a big eraser too. That could be a to-go kit. I just need to grab a pencil. The reason I don't put that pencil in there is because it's my favorite and I like to use it in the studio. So that's part of the problem too. But this bag, the reason <laughs> is because I don't, I don't know if I put these cute little palettes that I have that I put in my to-go bags, I'm afraid that I'll forget and not use them in the studio too. So I kind of unpack and pack and unpack. And so what I'm gonna do, this little magnetic palette, this one is made for on the go. It's tiny, it has the magnet, it'll clip to my sketchbook really easily. So I'm just going to say, okay, this one, I'm going to commit to an always on the go bag. Uh, I'll have to, oh, oh, I lost my swatch sheet. I'll just have to make another mix palette for the studio, which will be super fun. Got it. Okay. So that's on the to go kit. Rags, a diamond dozen. So one of those can stay in the always on the go kit thing. That's fine. And then I need a pencil and a fine liner. So the reason I don't just lose this pencil in the bags is because it's my favorite. So it goes to the blunt end. I've told you guys this in hundreds of videos probably. Okay, maybe not hundreds, but at least tens of videos. So this is perfect to put in a travel bag like this because it will never poke through. You know how some mechanical pencils like this one over here, it's so sharp, even when it's retracted, it's sharp. It will poke through the bag. This one will never poke through the bag. So, but this is my favorite pencil. I don't want to commit it to the bag, but I'm going to. I'll commit it to the bag. I'll use other ones. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, I'll just do it. And then a fine liner. My favorite fine liner is either like a 05 or the PN. I don't have a PN here. I wonder if I do in here. No. So I will take the 0 0.4. Ooh, that's tiny. I will take the 0 0.6 and commit that to an always on the go bag. And then one of the other reasons I don't have an always on the go bag is because I only have one set of these collapsible cups and I take them every week to class with me. I teach classes at the college. This is my water cups that I take with me for watercolor class. So I have to pack and unpack them for trips. So what I will do is I have one of these in a smaller size and kind of a cheaper thing. I'll go get that one and I'll commit to having that one in an always on the go bag. Luckily I put it exactly where I would think I would have put it, so I found it. So this one is softer. It has the lid, which is nice. So if you put this away wet, it can keep the water contained, but you, you see it's a little flimsy. <laughs> so this one is sturdy. Like I'm squeezing them. <laughs> so it's, it's a little scary. I've used it. I've used it in the studio. It doesn't fall over surprisingly when it's filled with water. So I'm just going to commit to having this in my to-go kit, my always to-go kit. 
this is scary. I'm not sure about this, guys. I'm not sure about this. And then I have this kit here. It has some tape and some a clip, a clip in it, and four water brushes. I don't need four water brushes in this kit, but I should bring my two favorites, which are these two. I do want to keep them in a Ziploc still. They are 100% full of water because I did not use them on my last trip. So in the Ziploc they go. And I'll keep them in my always to go kit. I change my kits all the time though. So see, this is the hard part because if I go on a different trip like Ultimate Adventure or something, I probably want different stuff. I don't know. So for now, we will also commit my Etcher A6 sketchbook to my always on the go kit. It's a perfect size. Now let's see if it fits in my bag here. If it seems like I'm in a hurry, it's because I am. I'm late for a trip, another trip. I'm always leaving, always leaving. So I need this kit, right? All right, so the rag is a must have. You're using a water brush, you must have a rag. The reason I'm using this smaller bag that was also a gift is because it's smaller. <laughs> I love the big one also, but I'm gonna see if everything will fit in here. And then instead of the little one clip I had, I'm going to take these two big ones because it will hold the sketchbook open with a little bit less pressure. I don't think it'll hurt the sketchbook quite as much. And I think I might replace these with those tablecloth clips in the future. I just don't, I used to have them. I bet they're in the garage. I used to have them in my old camper, but I have never put them in my new camper because I never used them. So I didn't bother them. I've gotten rid of them. So clips, in they go. Sketchbook. Do I, have, I was gonna say, wait, I don't have paintbrushes. Duh, that's what the water brushes are for. So no need to panic. I could even put this Escoda travel brush in there, but I'm not going to. This, I can take the clip off if I need it to be a smaller profile or I can leave the clip on. It looks like I can leave the clip on. Water cup, which I probably will never use or need. Tape, which I do often use. A pencil and a fine liner. And it zips up with room to spare. So if I wanted these Kleenex, and that's a good idea. I'll just put these Kleenex in here. There's room. For other stuff. I don't know where those Kleenex, they were in that other bag, but I don't know why, but Kleenex are always good. Okay, this can be my always packed, always ready to go. Even though I have sacrificed my most favorite pencil ever to it, which is sad. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go on this trip and see if I use this. I'm really hoping to. Tori is gonna be on this trip too, and she likes to do art and watch me do art and so even if oh, maybe I could take this for her I'll take that too so we could both have something to play with anyway I should take my take my inktober sketchbook out of it though because we don't need that in there and now it's even skinnier and lovely oh I could give her a pencil anyway so yeah we'll take both of these and maybe Tori and I can get some artwork done so I just stuffed this pencil in there I don't have to worry about the blunt end on that pencil because it's clipped, so that should work. This fine liner is a 05. The water brush is a little bit on the small side. I could bring her a slightly bigger one. This one's empty of water, but this one kind of sucks the paint back in the water brush, so I think I'll just leave her with the small one and see what she thinks of it. So hopefully we'll do some art. I mean, it's a really short trip. We're leaving today, coming back tomorrow, but we will be on the trail tomorrow, so we'll see. And then I will leave this always packed. So when I have that panic moment, like I did at the beginning of the last video, I just run in here and grab this and go. All right, we are at Blazer Bash. We're in a slightly different rig than I think any I've shown you. And they're pounding on stuff. They must have broken something. Anyway, we're at an obstacle called, well, we call it the butt scratcher, but it's been officially renamed the waterfall. I'll show it to you, hang on. It's over there. It's a big, uh, there's a bush in the way, but it's a big drop and I'll show you when another vehicle comes down it anyway. <laughs> I packed my little Jazza bag with those art goodies that I showed you in the studio. So I want to show you how this bag packed because it actually held a lot. Oh, and I have this hat on. It's a 70s hat that I found at my grandma's house when I was cleaning stuff out of it a couple weeks ago and it's perfect because of being your blazer bash. All right, let me show you what's in the bag. All right, there's a, another blazer coming down 
the butt scratcher. Shh, don't tell anyone <laughs> that we call it that. <laughs> it's been that for decades and decades though. We've been coming here since I was, I don't know, six years old probably. You can't see through that bush, unfortunately. All right, here's the Jazza bag in the front pocket. We have, let me lift it up here so you can see better. Oh, my pizza, that's important. And yes, it's wrapped in a paper towel bag, I think. So I put in here the the Viva sketch folio thing that I brought for Tori. And then I have some Kleenex. And the front here is toilet paper in case, you know, you need it. A battery backup charger and a cord in there. So that fit that all of that in that front pocket, which is cool. The side pocket, I have a charging cord for my phone and lipstick and lip gloss because that's super important out here. This pocket is sunscreen. And in the flap, we have snacks. Of course, snacks are vital. So two apples, <laughs> some, what are those? Almonds. Laura bar, jerky, and some barbecue crunchers. <laughs> my tea is very important. I need to get that out because I ran out of my other drink. And it's this it needs to go in there. So it's empty now. And then I have that art bag that I packed in the studio in the Da Vinci case. So that fits in there. That's a lot of stuff in there, don't you think? I think that's a lot of stuff. So then we stopped and had a bite of lunch and we stopped at this place which doesn't have the greatest view but it is a place that I've painted at last year or the year before and I painted a person. Anyway, this little girl was just sitting there playing with her cars and sand and stuff and so I started to paint sketch her but she moved of course and I couldn't get the same position back so I was kind of making the sketch up as I went and I am not great at just making things up from my head. I really prefer to have something to look at. I do way better in my artwork if I have some kind of reference to look at. So the little girl was just all kinds of different positions, of course, because she's little and playing. And so the sketch is just, it is what it is. But I did have to specifically take the time out to paint this because it wasn't a location with a lot of good scenery and so when I saw her sitting there for that second I'm like okay I could do this for a minute but the group did have to wait just a few minutes for me to finish up and it wasn't too big of a deal at all but the palette you can see clips on the sketchbook really easily it's secure my swatch sheet velcros there so I know what my colors are and these are great color choices for a travel palette so far. I have gotten away with using it like in ocean and water scenes and now in the desert. The buff titanium mixed with whatever brown I have in there, I don't have it in front of me right now to look, but it's probably a burnt sienna or something like that, is a really great combination for the desert colors of the sandstone and whatnot. And then I have several greens in there Oh, there's the puppies. That's my son and his girlfriend's dogs. That's Bailey and Mopey. Anyway, I have a nice assortment of greens in there and the yellows too that I can add to the greens and the blues that I can add to the greens to change them up completely. But I have two or three greens in there. I think just two. And it is enough because you can just change the tone of it super easily with those other colors. So it is a fun kit. I like having all the colors I chose for sure. I realized now that I didn't film to the end of this and I didn't film a picture of this finished sketch and I don't happen to have it with me. So I will have to show that to you in an upcoming video. It is just okay, which is fine for a quick 10, 15 minute sketch out on the field. They can be just okay. That's the point of sketchbooks. And if I just continue to do it, I imagine I will get better. I did feel a little bit of frustration with the water brush. I've used these water brushes before. I use them all the time. But I paint so much in the studio that I really get spoiled using a regular brush and the water. So I'm glad I included a water cup in here because I could just pour water from my 
water bottle and use a real brush if I want. So I feel like this is a great start to an always on the go kit. It's one that I can just keep and not worry about what's in there, about missing out at what's in there in the studio. And I think I might make several more because I have really neat travel bags and it might be fun to make a few, especially with paint that I have tubes of. That way I know I have a palette of that paint in the studio that I can always use and then a palette of it that sits in a to-go kit that I won't miss. So I think that might be the plan eventually. And I hope you found this useful or entertaining or a little of both, we'll see, but that you got something out of it today. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.